You guys can see I'm all sweaty. I'm not gonna wear makeup till later so that I'm think I'm like here trying to remedy these skin problems and in reality, obviously we know it's internally induced, but we're working on that. I think going to Canada for a bit will help a lot. Um, and we had a really great workout, which I loved. Um, and yeah, now have to go do a deal with a family thing and go grocery shopping, film, then head off to consultancy for the evening. A lot going on. a little bit like myself i am actually exhausted i've been dealing with the family issues since last end of last week and i'm like it's been a daily thing to deal with and i'm just so tired like i'm beyond exhausted <laughs> i'm actually counting down the days to go to canada i'm like two weeks that's two and a half but in my head it's two weeks which is a bit frightening because i have so much to do but i'm also like whatever Anyway, I'm about to start filming. I have to do a head thing. That's why my head looks like this. I should have opened that first <laughs> by saying why I have a head wrap. Try to lay the edges down here. And then I'm gonna put a headband wig and film myself doing that content. And then I have to rush to a meeting at my client's place and then filming with the camera crew, the media team for that said client for two events this evening, two theme nights. So I'm exhausted. And then tomorrow in the morning I have a shoot at 9 a.m. So what's well, that's just life. It is what it is. Um Saturday I'm sleeping, Sunday I'm sleeping. I'm not leaving my house. People want to find me, they can find me. But me as me. <laughs> I'm inside. <laughs> Period. Like ah. anyway, enough complaining. Let's get to filming because I actually need to leave in 30 minutes and I don't really know the, the plan for this video, so we need to just start. Done filming now in my headband wig from Nikki Froze. If y'all don't know, get to know it because it's the most convenient <laughs> freaking thing ever. I almost forgot how much like I love wigs in terms of convenience. It's hot in Uganda, so they're not the best thing to be wearing all the time, but um, convenience, A1. Uh, anyway, running late for this meeting, so I'm gonna, as I call my safe car, because they usually take forever to come find me. I'm gonna start cleaning up because I can't personally come home to a mess. It drives me crazy. Right now, this is a mess. Like, woo, 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 woo. no. This is just from today. Things need to be where they belong. Oh, the anxiety. <laughs> All right, in my office, waiting for um, a meeting to begin. <laughs> so much going on. Uh, going to film after i'm excited about that like i like helping the team film and such because that's like where my creative juices are well used <laughs> um but managing a team and making sure people do what you need them to do when they're not doing what you need them to do is difficult that part child and i've been like i've been a manager my whole life i've always been a supervisor a manager or oversaw people in all my jobs very quickly by the way i guess i <laughs> Also, I used to do a lot of like odd jobs. It's a running joke in my family to every Christmas or Thanksgiving to count all the jobs Rachel has ever had. And I'm like, I go where I'm valued, but I always show my value early. So I literally always ended up, um, oh, here I am talking in this vlog. I'm like, did the, person, did the people come to this meeting? Um, here I am. Yeah, what was I saying? So basically like I would always show my value very early, like, top 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 so but i wanted to take off days and things but i would never ask a few months in it'd be like six months to a year then it's like oh rachel won't do what rachel want to do rachel can go to uganda for two months 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I do the funniest things. So we personally here, like I, this is not a vlog for complaining. I'm just saying like work ethic and like what I'm used to is so different. But I learned all of these things at like 14. But I've been in a, clearly been in the work field for way too long because now I'm 32. Um, so almost 20 years of just doing a jobs, professional, uh, odd jobs, random, retail, hospitality, finance. I've just been in everything. And like, maybe that's the problem. I'm too overqualified. <laughs> so when I try to hire, I'm like, I need another me and it's unrealistic. Wow, I'm like talking myself into like understanding a lot more right now this is really funny anyway as i wait i'm gonna work on a couple of things i'm launching something this month that i actually don't want to talk about on this channel that i'm doing until maybe like december january probably january um but i'm really excited so i'm gonna work on that right now it's launching this the next week but i don't want to talk about it till january yeah long story i'll explain in january <laughs> get it together obviously it was my favorite spot um <laughs> you guys <laughs> so i mean i'm here every monday what monday tuesday and friday and then today's wednesday because i have to like shoot and help the team get the proper content they need to get downstairs on one of the theme nights and up here on the wednesday theme night um so i just i'm laughing at myself because i'm always here but i'm never up here and i love it up here it's my favorite spot there's the bar and they're so friendly and they know me from even before I was consulting. <laughs> I was like, hi guy. <laughs> Friendliest stuff ever. Anyway, I love being up here also because you can see jam across the board. Let me show you. So there's Kabira and whatever the hell Kabira is building. There's jam. It's like five o'clock, so that's rush hour jam. So this is heading towards Nalia, Kira, Ntinda, Bukoto, I think is there. Then you can see the bypass there. I think it's the bypass. Yeah, it is. And there's not really jam there anymore now that they've finished it. Um, down there is Kira Road. Like when you're up here, you can decide when you're actually gonna go home because it doesn't make sense to go home. Who knows? <laughs> All right, so I'm trying out the Phantom because it sounds pretty dope. Whiskey, um, lemon juice, honey, red cherries, and cinnamon powder. I like cinnamon, I like whiskey, I like honey. I don't really like cherries, but they're growing on me. <laughs> Personally, mm. you, know, you now know where to find me on Wednesday. <laughs> but then Wednesday and Thursday, I don't come here, and then that's when they have the best night. So Wednesdays is cocktail frenzy. And then they started like a grill night downstairs at Larissa. Then Thursday is band and barbecue, which is also really good. Oh, the food is so freaking good. And barbecue, I'm gonna have to find the chef. I'm gonna put him on my channel one day. He's so happy, he's always so happy. And just smiley, and he's always posing for the video. I'm like, you're hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, that's that, guys, and then Patea Hotel Kololo um, on Thursdays has quiz night and then a band of barbecue on Fridays um, and then Saturday and Sunday has other things like they have Sunday brunch but do I have kids yet? No so <laughs> I mean you could go with like family wholesome I should take my judge actually I think he's like that I know he's like on a strict diet being like 90 and whatnot but yeah Chef what are you making right now? This is our happy chef who's always very happy. Plantain <laughs> <laughs> and okay, much more. Yeah. Ah, this is cute. I didn't even know there's a whole grill section on this side. Nice. Oh, that one has plastic stuff. Such 
such a beautiful name. Let me actually walk you guys through what's available. I hope I don't get copyrighted. There's a salad station. Various different things and a sandwich station. And my team doing what they're supposed to be doing. And the grilling, which we'll do after. That's no, okay. And then various other food. <laughs> I will not be those guys that take your heart, life, and soul for granted. And I don't really understand. I don't even get the spark. I'm to know what we need to be young when I get home to know the truth. So I'm back home and the chef is so kind. The happy chef that I was telling you guys about is such a vibe. And his homie friend, oh mind you, this is more potatoes than anything, but that's okay. It's me a little takeaway container of meat. And then I took pasta to go, but I'm gonna eat the pasta tomorrow. I'm exhausted and I like I told you guys, I think earlier I have a shoot of something I'm working on. I have to be at at nine in the morning. So for right now it's 9.45. If I sleep and I wake up and I'm up at like seven, then pack everything I need for the shoot because there's a lot of things I have to pack. They'll be out of the house by like 8.30. That's good. I'm just not going to gym in the morning. Mm. So good. I'm going to bite a little into the chicken. There's potatoes. Like, there's a gremlin right now. I should ask them for pork because y'all know I love the porkiest pork. Porkiest! Mm, these peppers look good. I'm gonna eat this bottom of meat. I hate chewing on camera. <laughs> mm. That was so good. For someone who works out a lot, I eat a whole bunch of nonsense. Yesterday I had a pizza at Bush Bank. I'm gonna give you like garlic and hot sauce. And I wish I had a container to put both of them in because they're so good. I'm like, what if I sprinkle that on this right now? Not that this isn't serving as is. A little bit of chicken. <laughs> so good. My only issue with restaurant food, which I think I told you guys this already, is that they definitely cook with MSG. And my body and MSG are like this. Like, we're not aligned. So, in typical Uganda form, a little behind on things so i don't know if most of you guys like if you live abroad you would know that like you'll go to a lot of restaurants especially asian restaurants for example and they'll have a sign that says no msg with like a circle or msg with a circle and like a stroke in it because msg is like so bad for you you actually don't need it there's a lot of really good spices and like you don't need msg and i remember saying like having a debate about this out i don't remember like where it was but i was with friends and they're like no like msg is so good i'm like yeah it tastes good but what the f is it doing to your body so for me as me like that's because it's me and you guys <laughs> kind of know this by now i'm so like i'm not hyper focused with the future but like i think about the future often and i think about how i'm like if i can look like my mother but be healthy like i am now i'm gonna do it so like why would i eat things i don't need like you literally could eat and enjoy food on another level without having to have msg like there's cajun seasoning there's cayenne <laughs> There's powders, garlic powder, onion powder, don't worry about it. Like you can create your own nice little concoctions. I'm not having to have spices that just aren't good for you. Anyway, my point of all of that was um, I keep eating restaurant food and I know it's not good for me. And that's what's causing me to not have abs yet. Like I've been religiously, well, I've been religiously working out since January 1st and it is July, I don't know, like 12th or 15th, 13th or something. And 
that's dope but i should have like chiseled abs and i can see them because the days where i'm like not overeating and i'm drinking water and eating fruits and stuff like i see i see it it's it's not even just happening it's there just a layer of other things <laughs> A layer of the pasta and the MSG. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm not saying MSG isn't good. It's just trash for you. You end up like, if we're approaching our mid 30s, 10 years, all of a sudden people have like high blood pressure, hypertension, diabetes, God knows what. And it's like, why? You can still enjoy life and enjoy everything you eat without having to have all of that. Um, anyway, as the heater heats. <laughs> Saying one more bite. There I am. Mm. Mm. Right, let me practice properly so tomorrow I can enjoy it. Ooh, chat. So I think in the morning I'm gonna show you guys quickly my packing and then that's the end of the vlog. Uh, you guys have to see. No, I'm not even gonna show you in the next vlog. A little sneak peek about the of what I'm up to. Um, but yeah, thank you for coming on the day in the life of me. And whatever it is I have going on, which is content creation, consulting, marketing consultant, all that fun stuff. Um, today was fun. Actually, it was exhausting. And I was about to have a mini breakdown, let's be honest. <laughs> You guys know me for my honesty and like just keeping it real. I was about this close to having a breakdown. I'm exhausted mentally and physically. But then I'm always like, what's the point of like complaining about it? What's it gonna do? Who's it gonna serve? Is it gonna even help me at the end of the day? Not really, but perhaps someone out there <laughs> will watch this and be like, it's not just me. Yeah, it's not just you, girl. It's also me. I want to be in your boat with you, but here we are. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I thought I was going to pack right now, but like I said, I want to be in bed by 1030. And realistically, I think just dealing with my exhaustion is more important than trying to be productive. So let's just do that. Cool. All right. Good night. See you in the morning as I pack for, yeah, just another day of content and raise life. <laughs>